Now, this bond bill is about a $1.4 billion bond bill. It involves many, many elements of what we consider to be key components of our, not just our climate strategy, but our environmental policy and our natural resource and asset management strategies. About 300 million, it is cold out. <laughs> about 300 million of this, uh, of this proposal deals specifically and directly with the issues associated with vulnerability planning and hazard mitigation. And we fully expect that this is what I would call a first step uh, down payment, whatever your favorite, favorite terminology is, for what will be a significant amount of work that will need to be done on this issue going forward. I have to say how important it is that we get folks from all 351 cities and towns to understand and appreciate that this is an issue that's fundamental to them as well as fundamental to us and that we all need to pull together to do the work that's associated with ensuring that we here in the Commonwealth are ready for what will be the very significant changes associated with climate, water temperatures, sea levels, and all the rest that have we seen so much of over the course of the past few weeks. And certainly that community collaboration. That is core in all the things that we do and all the strategies that we implement at EEA. And certainly you heard about the MVP program, the Municipal Vulnerability Preparedness Program that the governor mentioned. That is sort of uh, one of the key elements to our climate change adaptation and resiliency strategy. And that is why over the last year we've started, uh, after the governor's signing of his executive order, to roll out and begin that MVP program. With your leadership you've been here multiple times to help us not only getting blown over by the wind but to help us with millions of dollars to help with our infrastructure. Uh, some of these seawalls, as the governor knows, and, and visiting them, some of them were built uh, during the Franklin Delano Roosevelt administration. Uh, they have outlived their, their usefulness. But seeing right behind you, Governor, this, this infrastructure here was done with some state funds. It was community preservation work and otherwise. Bob Gallagher is, is our lighthouse keeper who said without this, we would have seen tremendous damage here. That's the kind of investment that you bring. This is a really good piece of legislation, and it's on multiple fronts. Uh, when you heard Secretary Beaton highlight uh, the real meat of this and where the money's going to go. This is real dollars that are going to be realized by communities throughout the Commonwealth to make the quality of life better for their residents and to make sure that we adapt to the changing climate.